What's up guys, Big Papa Drock back with another Rage Shadow Legends video. That's right guys, it's another shard opening video and folks, it's a big one. It's big boy, it's big, 500, 500 ancient shards for the two times weekend. We are going nuts. It's, it's gonna, you know, we're hoping for a Valkyrie. We'd love to see a Mountain King. I, I can't lie, I pulled some shards, you know, without recording the other day. And I, I actually pulled a Trunda, which I had been looking for for forever. I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry. Um, it felt good. It felt good. So really, honestly, it's already been a successful 2X. At this point, it's all gravy. With the dupe system coming up, I don't, I'm not really pining for a champion other than maybe Valkyrie. That would be the one champion that I think that I could really, really make use of. And Mountain King would be fun just to mess around with. But for the most part... We got pretty much everything we need. Countess Licks, also cool. Wouldn't mind grabbing that. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see, what, we'll see what it brings. We'll see what happens. Will Plarium luck be on my side? Or will it be uh, a, sad, a sad conclusion to the Trunda excitement? Let's find out. Again, 500 shards. No further talking. Let's just do it. Here we go. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we get some. Because with the dupe system, you know, you can't really go wrong with the Legos. All right, seeing a lot of a lot of purple right here, and we already got a Lego, and it's Zavia. Okay, you know what? I've got two Zavias, but three is even better. Why not? Why not? Yes, already on the first pull, and we're already getting Legos, guys. Let's go. Zavia is such a fun champion to use. I mean, Deadly Catalyst is such such an awesome skill. Blocky Revive. We all know how powerful that is in Arena. Uh, stoked. First pull, first 10 shards. We've already got a Lego. Let's keep going. This is what it's about. This is why we play the game, right, guys? This is the excitement. Oh, man. I, I, I'm tingling. I'm tingling already. All right, couple, couple epics. Nothing really special. Keep going. We're ripping through them. We're ripping through the shards. We got a lot of shards to do. We've got a lot of shards to do. So let's see how lucky we get. Some blues, whatever. No worries. What are your most wanted champs? Trunda was on my list for forever. I mean, I, I have been pining for her. And the fact that I pulled her literally, I think two days ago off stream was just, like, oh my God, so exciting. So exciting to finally get, to finally get her. Um, so at this point, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what else pops up. Right, that's the first 50 shards down. I'm at the champion limit here. So I'm gonna have to feed some. We're gonna come right back. We'll get right back to it. All right, we are back. Let's keep eating shards. Come on, more gold. How man, wouldn't it be sick if we walked away with maybe six or seven legendaries from these pulls? I've had some crazy ancient shard pulls. Void shards. Oh, here it is. Oh, let's go. Are you serious? Let's go. <laughs> yes. Yes! Non-dupe, we don't have him. Mountain King, the HP monster. Oh my God. Ah, oh my, oh, okay. This has been one hell of a shard weekend already. We got a Trunda off stream. We already pulled a Zavia in our first 50 shards. We just pulled a Mountain King in the next 20. And it was one of the champions that we wanted. Let's go. Oh, the luck is on our sides this weekend. Let's go. Okay, let's see here. Enchanted Axe. Mountain King, just such a beast for uh, arena defense. I would say he's probably not really in the meta as much necessarily anymore, but still really, really, really great team. You can use him on a three by three. You can still use him in arena defense. You can hypothetically, maybe use him in arena offense. Such a beast to take down. His HP when fully, uh, when fully leveled is just monstrous. Highest in the game, highest in the game. Look at this. Ignoring shield and block damage buffs. Yes, eat it, Rosh card, right? Your block damage ain't gonna work against me, my friend. Oh my God, what a pull. I'm stoked. I'm stoked. Yes, this is the luck that we, this is what was missing from my last shard pull video, which was all voids. And it was pretty much entirely dupes except for a Bellinor. Yes, let's go. Oh my God, uh, this is already a win. This is already a huge win, folks. Now, if we get a Valkyrie, might be tears of joy. Might be tears of joy, folks. Just ripping through these shards right here. Okay, blues and purples and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, oh, cool. Zalota, we got him. No worries. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, another one. 
Okay, Astroleth, eh, it's a dupe, but who cares? You know what? We'll take it. Gold is gold, baby. Gold is gold. Dark Elf dupe. I, honestly, I have, I have, I think, one or two Astroliths. I've never built him. Have you used him? Is he good? I've never used him. I have no idea. But hey, you know what? For the next 40 shards, we just pulled what? Four, four, le four legendaries? We pulled four legendaries in the first 90 shards? Are you serious? Yes! Let's go! Wait, I can do another 10? Can I do another 10? No, okay. I gotta, I gotta, go, I gotta go munch some more food. All right. Let's go munch some more food. We'll be right back again. I can't, what a start. What a start. And we are back again. Let's go right back into it. Oh my God. Oh, the luck has been insane. First hundred shards, four Legos. Let's do another fit. We have to go. It's, it's crazy because I have to feed so many champs because my collection is absolutely packed full at this point. I need more space, Plarium, and especially with the dupe system, I'm trying to hold on to as many things as possible. As many things as possible. I need more space. Please give us 800, 900 champ slots. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe we pulled four legendaries and, and literally a Mountain King, which was one of, the, one of the two that we were like, hey, you know what? I'd love to get. Now we're hoping for Valkyrie. We're looking for Valkyrie now. Can we get a Valkyrie? Maybe a Countess Lix. Maybe a Tyrant, maybe a Brachus, a non-dupe. Let's see if we can get another non-dupe. But Valkyrie is the one. If we pull a Valkyrie, then, then, I, then we've done it. We've done it, folks. But already, you have to be thrilled. Anytime you get a non-dupe, you gotta be thrilled, right? That is the worst feeling in the world when you pick a dupe. Even with the dupe system coming, it still never feels great. Okay, we got 360 shards left still. 360 still left. Okay, let's go feed some more. We'll be right back again. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep going. Boom. 10 at a time. Ripping through them. Let's do some fast pulls, right? Okay, all rares. Let's do some, some fast pulls for this run. Boom. One epic. Oh, Doom Priest. What a sick epic. What a sick epic. Such a hard carry in so many Doom Tower scenarios. Another fast pull. We're going to fast pull them all this roll around. Okay. Oh, Rector Draft. Sick. Sick epic, but we're not, we're not here for epics. We're not here for purple. I love the color purple. We're here for gold. I want to see that yellow. We're here for gold. Shine it. Shine it bright like a diamond, baby. Okay, no gold that go around, but still, we're having really, really, really good luck. Really good luck. Okay, let's f I'm just going to be feeding champions literally all night long. It's gonna be th most of me doing this is just feeding champions. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, let it continue. Rain the gold upon me. Rain down the gold. Give me the look of the Irish. Come on. Give me the look of the Irish. Purples, purples. Okay, purples. Purples, not gold. Purples, come on. We want gold. We want gold. It's a lot of blue. A lot of blue. Vala. Wait, I think I have this epic. Yeah, I have this epic. Okay. Oh, come on. Can we pull a Valkyrie, guys? Can we pull one? Can we pull a Valkyrie? Wouldn't that be sick? Wouldn't that just be the coolest video? A Mountain King and a Valkyrie in the same video. Oh, my goodness. Man, I just, you get so energized when you're pulling shards, right? Just, just feels right. Feels good. Okay. No, no Legos there. The luck has slowed down. We're almost halfway through. Almost halfway through. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Come on. Come on, Plary. A couple more. Just a couple more, baby. Two more. Here we go. Back at it again. Come on. Come on. I also looked at, I looked at my collection in between there, and I could use an Iron Brago as well. Iron Brago would be sick. Just a non-dupe. Non-dupes. Non-dupes. I really hope that this dupe system turns out to be awesome. I mean, obviously, they previewed it. But now that we're, you know, now that it's supposedly, I guess, within a month of coming out, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I've, I've somehow, I know this sounds crazy. I somehow have four Arbiters. Oh, here we go. Hey, a non-dupe. Oh, I got two in one. Another Kavalax. Let's go. The double, the double hitter. Kavalax, a dupe for me, but Basilius is not. What does this guy, I don't even know what this guy does. 
Attacks one enemy, 80% chance of stealing one random buff from the target, 80% chance of placing a block buffs. Debuff for one turn of target has no active buffs. Okay, interesting. Eh, it's all right. For an A1, not bad. Attacks one enemy three times, nor increased defense, shield buffs, and block damage buffs as well as... Wow! So that could do a ton of damage. I mean, so it's a, it's a one, you know, it's not an AoE. You wish it were an AoE, but that could actually do some pretty sick damage. Basically, that could, yeah, shield, block damage, and increased defense all goes down, plus ignores defense. Not a bad A2. Tax, oh, we got an AoE hit on this. Oh, 75 chance. Oh, it's 100% chance of placing a stun. Oh, wow, that's great. This guy can stun you. And, and, okay, so they'll stun or decrease targets turn meter by 50% if the stun debuff is not placed. That's not bad. That's not bad, right? Did he get buffed recently? The Cavalax, we know. Cavalax is pretty sick. I have, I have a couple Cavalaxes. You can do some really cool stuff with this, uh, with this champion in PVE content uh, for Poison Explosion. So actually, Cavalax, with the Zavia we pulled earlier, Cavalax goes perfectly. Again, I have a couple already, but his, uh, his passive is so sick. Four or 5% poison debuffs on all enemies for two turns at the start of each round, and a 50% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff on all enemies for one turn at the start of each turn. I actually put one of my Cavalaxes in a Relentless set just to try to stack additional po uh, poison debuffs, which has worked out pretty pretty well. And then again, you can use uh, uh, Zavia, or I believe, El uh, not Elegaeus. Um, what is the, I can't remember the champion's name. The other one that does Poison Explosion. But Zavia, I think, is a little bit better just because she has added damage to it. Nice! A double pull! Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. That's six Legos. That's six Legos, right? In, in, it's six Legos and 300, and 300 shards. How many shards did I pull? 240? Goodness gracious, the odds are on my side this weekend. I'm telling you, man, guys, never pull during 10Xs. Pull during 2Xs, especially if you're not a dirty uh, pay-to-win player. It's a nod to Ash or a whale. Don't pull during 10Xs, and this is the reason why. We've already gotten six legendary champions out of basically 250 shards, I think, right? 260 shards. We've gotten six legendary champions. That's that's double the rate that you could expect to get normally. That is huge, especially if you are a player that doesn't have an absurd amount of shards like I do. Wow. Okay, we got, we're only halfway down. We got more. Let's see what happens. Oh, baby. 240 shards left. Already six Legos in the first 250 shards. Or 260 shards so we are crushing oh man the epics are coming out hard wow seeker obviously that's uh, i use that in my unkillable clan boss team such a great epic oh baby whoo let's see what else we got do we have more does the luck continue i hope so either way you can't argue with the results we're getting some good pulls guys we're getting some good pulls. Oh man, I can't wait to build that Mountain King. I am stoked to build that Mountain King. What else have we got? Blues, 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 blues. Okay, purple. Come on. <laughs> Shard opening videos are so much fun. I mean, honestly, oh, Duck the Pierce, great epic. Great epic. Sandlash, also really solid. Uh, okay, okay. 200 shards left, I think, now, right? 190 shards left. 190 shards left. We're in the home stretch here. We're going to see, we're definitely going to see at least one more gold. Can we get two or three more golds? Can we come away with a truly insane, lucky, lucky streak here? Time will tell. All right, let's go feed some more champions. Be right back. Okay, back at it again. Keep them rolling. My mouse hand is hurting so many shards to pull. Oh, God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Some more gold. A little more. Just a little more, Plarium. Come on. Come on, Plarium. Come on, Plarium. Come on, buddy. Give me some more gold. Give me some more gold, Plarium. <laughs> Allure, uh, Allure, such a great epic. 
So, so clutch. So clutch. We love Allure. But we're not here for Allure. We're here for Valkyrie. Do we get her? Do we get her? Not yet. Not yet. I do more? Nope. Okay. Last 150. Got to feed some more chips. Here we go. Last 150. Come on. Come on. <sighs> do we get one more elite champion? I mean, I can't, I can't be upset. We've had such a phenomenal pull. So many, so many good dupes. Two new champions that were non-dupe, which is amazing. You can never go wrong with a non-dupe. But do we get one or two more can we get two more come on nope nope it's all blues it's all blues i'm rooting for it i'm rooting for at least one more i think we i mean i think we can definitely get one more can we get two two would be sick two would be sick can we get two let's let's see let's find out together okay the last 110 shards, folks. The end is almost here. The end is almost here. And then hopefully I won't have to feed any champions again for another like month or so. Uh, these, these 2X events though, man, that's where they get you. That's where they get you buying shards. You don't even mean to. And suddenly you're just snagging shards left and right. You're just, you're, you're grabbing shards. You don't even know what's happened. It's worth it for the gold though, right? It's worth it for the gold. Come on. Come on. One or two more. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got more in us. I know we got at least one more in us. Come on. I know we do. I know that we have at least one more. How many shards we got left? We got 70 left. We've got one more in here. We've got one more. I believe it. I believe it. Let's find out. 70 more. More feeding time. I need more slots. I need more slots, Plaria, please. Ah, be right back. Here we go. Come on. No, I don't, I don't want blue. I want gold. Show me the gold. Show me the gold. Show me a little more gold. A little less blue, a little more gold. Show me the gold. Come on. We're only going to have 40 shards left after this. I think we pull what we pull. Oh, here we go. Hey, Harvest Jack. A non-dupe. Let's go. That's three non-dupes. Yes. Dude, this character looks so sick. I mean, look at this dude. He looks so sick. Oh my God, look at his pumpkin head. Oh, it's beautiful. Makes me want to start singing Nightmare Before Christmas, right? What's this? What's this A1? Okay, tax one enemy three times, 25% chance of stealing one random buff. 25% chance of placing a fierty buff. Target has no active buff. Chance increased 100% all buffs were stolen. Okay, cool. All enemies, AOE attack, block buffs, debuff for two turns and targets under fear. Okay, so you have a condition there. Removes any increased attack buff from the target, places them with 50% decreased attack for two turns. Removes any continuous heal buff, places them with 5% poison debuff. Number of poison debuffs equal the number of continuous heal buffs removed. Okay, all right, all right. This seems all right. Seems, seems all right. Another AOE though, that's great. That's great. 75% chance of placing true fear. That's awesome. True fear is a beast, especially in arena. 30% decrease speed is huge. Oh, wow. That's great. So this is a great AOE, uh, AOE attack. Just with a decreased uh, speed and true fear. That's so, so awesome for arena. And it will sleep if it doesn't place the true fear. Oh, and he's HP based. Okay, cool. Yeah, not bad. We'll take it. What's the passive? To create his buffs. All right, sick. Sick. Hey, it's a non-dupe. It's a non-dupe. We will take non-dupes all day long and twice on Sunday. Okay, 40 more shards. <sighs> the epic conclusion to this insane 500 ancient shard opening video. Coming up next on Big Papa Drock's YouTube channel. This is it.
Here we go. The last 40 shards, 500 total ancient shards. And I think we've gotten seven, eight. I don't know how many Legos, seven Legos, eight Legos. I, I lost count. We've gotten a lot. We've had really good luck. Can we get one last one? One more non-dupe Lego. Can we do it? That, are they, oh, that would be insane. We pulled four non-dupe Legos. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Either way, I am, I am ecstatic with the, with the turnout of this shard pull. Definitely the best shard pull that I have had, I think, yet. Especially when you include the Trunda that I got off off camera uh before the weekend like right as the weekend was starting so when you include the trend it is definitely the best sharp pull i've done all right guys this is the last 10 the moment of truth do we get one more lego here we go rip them out here it is do we get one more i don't know i don't know uh, no we don't get another one but you know what what insane luck 500 ancient shards and we walked away with a mountain king we walked away with what else a harvest jack that was new we walked away with a bunch of stuff basilius also new another calvalax an astrolith how many did we get in total how many did we get in total one two Three, four, five, six. Was it six in total? Seven in total? Was it seven in total? I don't know. Whatever. It was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, because the Mountain King is not fully leveled yet, right? Yeah, I've been leveling this bad boy up. Oh, my goodness. What? Uh, hey, you know what? You can't argue with that. We had pretty darn good luck. Because when you have a champion collection like this to pull... To pull non-dupes, to pull any non-dupes out of a shard is such a win. It is a win. So I am I am stoked. I am stoked. I cannot wait to see what Mountain King does in the arena on arena defense, especially with a Nethril. Uh, well, no, I guess Nethril wouldn't really work for him because he's got so much HP, but it, with a Duchess, maybe. With a Duchess. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Oh, man. Guys, thank you for watching. I am Big Papa Drock. I hope you enjoyed this ancient shard opening video. I'm sure we'll do another one when the void shards come back around because boy, do we really want to crisp. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.